You two did such a great job in the night, Agent. I loved every minute of it. It had me guessing the whole way through. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Gabriel, your character Peter has a lot of physical scenes where he's running through the woods, fighting bad guys. How much of that did you do yourself? I did all the fighting and all the running around and stuff. Um, but if it got too crazy, you know, a car hit or something like that, Matt Milray would sub in. Um, but a lot of things worked out that might not have just because Mitch, the stunt coordinator, trusted me to do it. So I was able to do pretty much everything, yeah. Luciani, you're originally from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved in this series that's American in origin? <laughs> And then filmed in British Columbia. I, it's, it's very confusing, the whole thing. Like, what's going on? Um, I just did a self tape. Um, I was in a New Zealand lockdown and we weren't allowed to go to each other's houses. And um, I somehow persuaded my friend, who's amazing, Jared, uh, to <laughs> sneak into my house and read for me. And you just said he broke the law and you gave his name? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many Jareds. <laughs> and he's my friend, and I follow him on Instagram. You can find him. Um, but it, it's, it's not like breaking the law. No, I, I know. It's done. Um, but it was it was crazy because in the scene, it, you know, I had her shouting and everything, but I was so like paranoid that like the neighbors could hear. And also, I'm putting on an American accent. It just sounds strange. So I played it quite. Um, I was trying to be quiet, and it's funny, when I met with the writers, they were like, you played it so grounded, and I was like, that's because I was trying to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then booked the job after a couple um, more auditions, and then, yeah, I'm here now. Gabriel, what was it like working with Hong Chao? Was this filmed before or after she was nominated for an Oscar? This was before, uh, but it was, it was really cool. You know, I felt bad because she would come in and she'd have so much dialogue thrown at her because all her scenes were so dialogue heavy but you know very professional she was just really really great to work with um consistent mm. and uh just always you know you, you didn't have to show up oh man I, i'm exhausted and there are all these lines and i hope she knows hers you know she was so professional and good that like she yeah i it was refreshing working with her Luciani, how did you get the scripts? Were they all at once so that you could know what was happening throughout the series? I recall getting them all at once and then making my way through it, but they change constantly. So you're you're never like quite ahead of everything. And yeah, it, it was always changing. So <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> Gabriel, you basically carry the show. Did you feel an added responsibility? Um. I don't know. I wouldn't say I carry the show. There's so many plot lines and other actors that crush it. You know, I, I'd never... I, watching the show, I never felt like I, I wanted to see Peter and Rose again, you know? And then almost every scene I'm in, Luciani's in, and, and she crushes it. And it just... Everything was so complimentary. And the crew, you know, really, really worked so hard on this. I cannot understate that enough. Um... So it never felt like I was the person that, you know, the show, was, I'm the guy, I'm the night agent. It always felt like a group um, effort. But it is nice, you know, to see how people are responding to the show and know that it was a, an immense effort on so many people's, you know, parts. So that's cool for me. Luciani, like Gabriel said, your character is key to this show. What did you enjoy most about playing her? I liked um, how good at lying she was because I'm <laughs> so bad at lying. <laughs> like, all my friends are like, you need to... Um, but, yeah, she just somehow comes up with these crazy, crazy lies about her dead cat and her crazy ex-boyfriend and, you know, a sister whose boyfriend's gone missing. Like... I think that's such a skill, and um, for someone who's an actor, I should probably be good at that, but yeah, that was Yeah, you work on that in your real life. <laughs> <laughs> Even know when you need to lie. <laughs> I never know. I want to thank you both so much for chatting with me today about this show. It's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, or if you're returning, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, 
tap it now, plus the notification bell in the top right hand corner, because I've got a lot of new celebrity interviews coming up and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. Also, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments. What are your favorite shows or movies? Who are your favorite stars? I can't promise anything, but I'll keep them in mind for future interviews.